Hi all, this is Param. Okay, in this playlist we are seeing like uh, especially what is anomaly directions. Okay, of course machine learning has many things. Okay, so we are checking uh, right now we are looking in the term what is anomaly direction, how we can uh, do anomaly directions on the index data in the elastic search. Okay, okay. Uh, till now we have seen what are the data in that we can do. Okay, okay. What are the data? we can do um, anomaly detections okay and if it is anomaly detection what exactly we are doing okay uh, what okay sorry what exactly you are doing so, okay temporal data surgical arrays okay and uh, some of the techniques are principle in fact i would say it okay uh, technical principles everything uh, what are the principles are used okay to uh, uh, to implement i would say okay to implement the machine learning okay so all those things we have seen till now okay and then <coughs> in fact this is with respect to the kibana in fact okay this is with respect to the kibana so uh, what are the different ways as, as of now they are saying like almost five different ways you you can say five different ways to create the uh, anomaly direction jobs okay that's what in the way in, in, um, in the kibana now to create so of course we are going to create anomaly direction jobs okay that we can do either using any one of the wizard in the kibana or we will do in the apis okay so in either case okay in either case whatever you are preferring but both are same so okay whatever you are preferring so okay the what are the parameters we are supposed to configure okay what is its role okay i will show the syntax okay i will show in the syntax upcoming video okay as a demo okay but uh, at least in this video we will we will talk about uh, what are the parameters how it's impact the anomaly directions okay okay first one is packet span you know the packet span is nothing but just okay uh, what is the time span okay it, it has to take for analysis okay so each packet it will has a paired uh, number score right so what is now so uh, uh, how often usually minimum one hour okay uh, okay maximum can be anything so okay um, but uh, um, okay but usually but usually they they will have one hour okay maximum uh, okay but we can have minimum 10 minutes once okay that will be easy enough right so in, uh, rather rather than run, running the uh, running anomaly directions are very often okay we can run at least every 10 minutes that is really and good i would say rather than running very short period or very long period both are it's not going to help that much okay the thing is what's not it's a real time anomaly direction right so okay so obviously then uh, uh, we can uh, we, there is no meaning like uh, something's happened okay in in one hour back uh, now we are saying that, uh, that there is that was anomaly direction of uh, before one hour it's a meaningless right it's one hour ago this meaningless okay so that's why it's uh, to uh, so to, uh, to 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 compensate that okay uh, we can have we can execute our another packet by each, each packet span can have 10 minutes that is a meaningful way okay <coughs> sorry okay yeah, so that is what bucket spans okay we will spare uh, 30 minutes or 10 minutes something this is one of the configuration parameter in the jobs okay even i think i can show if i have my open okay yeah this is open okay mm. <coughs> let me see is there anything body it's a gate right no mm, start no okay anomaly directions model snapshots create aggregations okay that is fine <laughs> uh, put <coughs> Here you can see that anomaly, uh, sorry, packet span. Okay, so as I, I have here specified, as a five minutes. That is what. This is what. What is the time duration? So what is then? Accordingly, the time at uh, the input time, time series data will be splitted. Okay, for every ten minutes, it it treated as a bunch, is a, is a batch of data. So in that it will execute the anomaly direction. That's what. Okay. <coughs> then cardinality. Cardinality means you know how many unique values are there. Okay, if you are having more than ten, it's very tough. In fact, okay. Uh, no. Uh -huh. more than thousand something like that. Okay, so uh, ten as well. Okay, fine. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so cardinal means number of unique values. Okay, uh, if you have more uh, more unique value, then it is go, it is better to go with populations. Okay. Or any other 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 technique, okay. Uh, so cardinality is, is very less, also it's meaningless, okay. So if you have just let's say one or two, that is not good, okay. So if you are having like minimum range, like like like, like up to ten or uh, or up to twenty something like that, okay. If you have that kind of that, that number of cardinality, I mean unique value, that's what. So okay, we will specifically influencer. I will tell you what is influencer, okay. So in the influencer value should be the uh, so should have that minimum reasonable unique value. That's what. You should not have more or you should not have very less. 
see very in either case it will work but the the anomaly detection matrix right it may not be appropriate or it may not be very good result okay that's why see all of these configurations you can give any range let's say packet span you can give very or uh, every 10 second or you can configure two hours okay that's so okay whatever you want you can give okay it will work okay as long as it has memory resources but the output of the anomaly detection may not be appropriate so okay to get precise value only we have to tweaking that's why they will say all the machine learning jobs are iteration based <coughs> especially model okay i will tell you i mean in data 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 frame analytics all those things are especially uh, what is it uh, <coughs> iteration based okay so so uh, for each iteration we will get improve what is the value has to pass uh, how the which parameter we have to tweak it. so the, all the things we will identify okay that is our cardinality okay now detectors of course it's a very important one okay he is the actual functions in fact i would say <coughs> okay so there are uh, there are a lot of detectors are there okay uh, so detectors is going to uh, do based on a type of the anomaly detections okay so what what is the type uh, what is anomaly detections happening okay so uh, it, 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 it says what type of uh, fields you are using or what is uh, what, what type of uh, anomalies you, you are going to detect okay so all those things are uh, is depend on what is the detector you have selected okay are you have, you can you have configured okay i think here yeah you can see here we have <coughs> <coughs> this is custom rules okay uh, let us not go for custom geo data no problems okay custom rules okay mm, population okay altering on uh, map data okay there is no simple hmm? how come population is fine okay oh, sorry <coughs> here you can see that and detectors is count hmm? So we will be defined like this counter, okay? So, 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 so we will be defined like this. Okay, how many so detectors like this? Okay, you get detectors of course one. Okay, so that's what I can say. Okay, every anomaly detection should have only one, sir. Okay, you can have more detectors for other type of jobs. Okay, uh, you can have more than one detector, but that is not good. Okay, that is you may not be good. Okay, that is what I have said, right? Somewhere I have said. Uh huh. No. Okay, yeah, sorry, it's array, nah? so you can have many, right, sorry, uh, I got confused a little bit, okay. So, you can have the uh, uh, detectors more than one also, okay. So, what are the, um, uh, what are the, fun okay, within the detector only we are going to use the function, okay. Okay, cool. <coughs> so, detectors very, detectors actually, uh, uh, actual unit that is what going to do the anomaly detections, okay. So, obviously, detection we will be configured then. Uh, this is a custom detection, uh, sorry, custom detector rules, okay, we will see in the next video, our upcoming video, okay. Then this is our dedicated index, okay, it's really good, right. Uh, what the things, now? it's very simple, we can share, if you are not specifying anything, any output index, okay, what will happen, it will, uh, it will, uh, it will uh, use the common index to store many, uh, many uh, jobs result, okay, many jobs result. Um, but the good, the very good idea is what is a very good um, uh, practice. What is na? for each anomaly detection jobs, you have separate anomaly detection result, result, result index. Okay, so in the result index, it will be stored. Okay, so here you can see the I think whether let me check whether I have reduction discussion on that is not known. Okay, <coughs> custom rule or aggregated. Let's see, let's check here it is. Anything where is output? Hmm. Bucket summary that's count and data if I can't figure okay. Output is not here, okay. Summary data feed configured this input actually. Mm, then how it can be manual model snapshots? That is okay. Data feed, okay, that is okay. Mm, 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 mm okay mm. okay uh, we, uh, we, uh, we will configure the output also okay uh, update uh, something like that. okay no problem mm. custom rules i think none of my jobs has uh, no it, it, it i had i remember it, okay let me check i had actually output influencer okay data feed configure okay why there is no output how come yeah, here only we have to say, okay, along with the uh, packet span detector, okay, along with only we have to speak, uh, of course, in fields, okay, I will tell you. 
uh, descriptions okay data feed okay i will tell you here here only we will say what is output index okay so that is that that, that is out, uh, that, that is the that output in, in that output in the configure output index used for the storing the data <coughs> i mean the result of anomaly detection jobs okay okay now influencer very simple see very simple okay influencer means what okay when i is a technically is one of two fields of the document okay so those uh, those are the document we doubt the, the those document can be play the anomaly direction let's say client ip or user id okay or kind of uh, atm card number okay so that's what okay these are the things may be uh, influence in the uh, anomaly detection okay so that's why uh, we will say influences okay if influences are just uh, fields okay uh, mostly okay and in, in, again influencer uh, in, 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 in the, how many influencer we can have it's second what they have the, the, the best thing is the receipt to three of course you can have many things also no problem okay no one going to talk about no one going to stop you um, but um, but what they say uh, don't go beyond three okay uh, again simple one is okay of having a single influencer but you can have one, one or two three something okay not beyond three okay that is not recommended but is but if it is necessary then you can go for four five years well no problem okay but accordingly the result may be vary okay that's that is the matter <coughs> so technically uh, influence of just number of a columns very simple in other in other uh, let's say in data feed um, data feed as uh, i mean supervised learning or data frame analytics we will say right feature okay here we are saying uh, influence that's what that just a name different nothing else okay uh, here i think uh 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 data fee okay that is fine what i was looking influencer right so let me open something yeah, i can see so you some more influencer influencer just a field name nothing else okay influencer I, i think i saw i saw somewhere okay influencer was there actually hmm. yeah here you can see right influences are a okay influences is the are are okay so you uh, we, you can say or uh, what are the what are the field names okay um there is no data type restrictions till now i think okay there is no data type restriction so but uh, but uh, then uh, since it is array you can have more more than one more than one uh, fields as a influencers okay okay uh, but influence is very important sir okay so be, say, okay the influence selections are like how much important to select the feature selection is important in the formation learning similarly okay the so selecting uh, right influencer column is very much important for the anomaly detection jobs okay and memory limit so what is memory limit na so while how much ram how much memory it can occupy while processing the anomaly detections okay so it's processing okay so by default it's 1 gb okay but uh, if you are having more memory you can configure no problems but at the same times if you are uh, if you configure very high memory okay let's say to 200 gb something like that of course if you are not having that much space Uh, that much ram is not available now it will not start sir okay because of that node that node not able to get the uh, not able to collect uh, get the accurate that much ram to start the process right so that's why so you have to uh, the minimum 1 gb okay you can give minimum 2 gb or 3 gb something like that based on your how much data it going to uh, uh, run that is what okay it, it is not how much is go, how much uh, how, how often it going to run okay it is it, it is matter of how much data is going to run okay that's what so okay so i'll say if it is the reach the limit what will happen it will start to pruning the data okay that is again huge huge uh, huge task to the uh, <coughs> anomaly detection jobs okay okay i think memory limit i have explained okay we can we can configure parameters okay influencer is very important cardinality is just theoretical okay so so based on cardinality cardinality will impact the selection of influencer that's what i can say okay okay Uh, okay then packet span of course okay very uh, then interval should be there right oh yeah, yeah, yeah very much data feed okay okay so a uh, detectors means obviously within within the detectors we, we we can have array of detectors okay so within that we are going to say the function what is the function i'll show you 
Okay. Yeah, these are the function. Okay. We will talk about later video. Okay. This is these are the functions. Okay. That function going to be declared inside of the data director. That's what. Okay. <coughs> okay. Then about the data feed. Fine. Data feed. So data feed act as input, sir. Okay. So well, one thing as I told you for in, for in, for anomaly anomaly detection, data has to be within the same Elasticsearch cluster. Okay. It cannot be a remote data or you, you cannot push the data through the API something like that okay, on the fly. Okay, even that was supported but that they have repaired, they have deprecated. So there is no, not, there, is, there is no way to uh, push data directly to the jobs. Okay, so data has to be within the Elasticsearch. From the Elasticsearch we are using the query. Okay, that query, uh, that, that, that query will be executed. How often it is going to execute? That is our interval. Okay. Okay, so based on the interval, so usually we can uh, if I, if we can run for ten minutes. So since our packet span, let's say, uh, it, it's the the, the, the interval. So they, they say how much interval is depend on the the packet span. So both are uh, interlinked at least. Okay, both are dependent. Okay, so <coughs> I say if you are saying packet span five minutes, you can obviously you can say the interval also five 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 minutes. Okay, so every five minutes or every uh, six minutes something like that. Okay. No, every four minutes at least. Yeah, four minutes. Okay, so every four minutes you can you can or four point five minutes you can define. Okay, so every four point five minutes you are getting new data feed. Okay, and or every five minutes uh, it is going to run by the ex uh, uh, ex it is going to be ex executed by the detector. Okay, yeah, detectors. Okay, so that's how it's really good. Okay, and uh, if you want to delay also you can do. Let's say. Uh, some uh, there there is some delay may be possible okay let's say uh, you are getting data from the let's say we are getting data from the log stash or any input pipelines okay or ingest pipelines may hmm? okay so the data may be uh, uh, comes a bit late because of network traffic or something like that okay so that we can uh, we can uh, do some delay we can do some delay before the execute query that means every 5 minutes it has to run okay every 5 minutes it has to run okay every 5 minutes like if, if i say 5 minutes in the interval it, it will run every 5 minutes but once that is once the clock is ready okay it will not it will not start immediately so if i configure delay for let's say 2 second or 5 second or 10 second something whatever it is or maybe 1 minute okay so what will now it will wait for 1 minute then it run the query then it will it, it, it give the data to the uh, anomalization jobs okay for the packets and everything okay Okay, similarly, of course, every jobs every jobs can have only one data feeds. Yes, uh, I would say uh, if you are from the any other machine learning, uh, no, they will say data frame analytics, right? Okay, similarly, here uh, for anomaly detection, we call it data feed. Okay, so it, uh, uh, I think I have said somewhere. Okay, so uh, in within the analysis, search, machine learning jobs, we can for for machine learning jobs, we are pushing data, we are providing data to the jobs either through data frame analytics. Okay. Or it is from data feed. I think only anomaly detections use the data feed. Okay, for remaining all the other things are using the um, that data frame analytics. But I am not sure about how how about NLP. Okay, still no have not explored. Uh, but at least yeah, these are the things. Okay, these are two type of data. Uh, there are there are two type of way to push the data. Uh, give the input data to the your machine learning jobs. Okay. And uh, of course, data feed. That's what I, I said. Nah, the index has to be index must be. Index source index, even I can say the source index. So, so you are see source index must be within the elastic search, okay. It cannot be remote data. So, the yeah, packet span has impact, okay. So, based on that packet, uh, packet span, we have impact, okay. Um, of course, each packet has its own packet number, yeah, that's fine, sir, okay. Okay, each packet, yes, that is correct. Each packet, it's ha it, it has its own uh, anomaly score. Okay, that's all the, in this video. Okay, uh, so data feed, cardinality, uh, bucket span, okay, detectors, uh, then what else? Uh, dedicated output and influencer, memory limit, almost seven items, different, uh, almost seven different configuration while defining. Uh, while defining machine learning, uh, machine learning, uh, sorry, anomaly detection jobs. Okay, we have discussed. The remain, there are remaining things are also, also there. We will discuss in upcoming video. Okay, I hope you like this content. Okay. Um, I will uh, okay. You, you like the content, okay? If you like the content, please leave your comment, subscribe my channel, share with your friends. Thank you.